Hi guys, how are you doing? It's me, Sunny, and as you can see by the title, this is going to be my September TBR. Now, last, I think the last week of August, so yeah, last week, I did a weekly TBR. That didn't work out so well because I found myself, sorry, my bracelet came loose, guys. Okay, I found myself grabbing random stuff and not the stuff that I had planned to read that week. So I don't think I'm good with weekly TBRs. I think I'm better with a monthly one. That way, you know, I say I want to read these books this month, but I've got like an entire month to read these books. And if I want to throw something else in, then that worked out. But that weekly TBR was not for me. So let's go ahead and jump into my September TBR list. Now, um, I'm not sure if I've mentioned it on any of my recent videos, or I may have, but I have a small child. He's four, and so I've been reading to him since he was in the womb, but um, we were in Barnes & Noble a couple months ago, maybe two months ago, give or take, and he saw a Harry Potter book and was like, Mommy, he does magic, like seeing on the cover, and I was like, yeah, okay, you want Mommy to read that to you? And he said yes. So I have been reacquainting myself with the world of Harry Potter through him. So I've been reading him Harry Potter, the Harry Potter books um, at night. And right now we are on book three, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Um, we just started last, last night. So like we are literally on page five because we finished up book two last night and then started on this one. So, and not too far in, it's probably going to take me the full month to read this to him because typically we'll read like a chapter or two at night as his bedtime story, but um, this will be read during the month of September. Next we have, um, and this was a part of my haul in August, but The Giver by Lois Lowry. I want to read this before I go see the movie, and I think the movie comes out today. Wow. So, yeah, I may be reading this this weekend, so I can go see this at some point next week. And then, also, Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. Um, I have I have Anna and the French Kiss and Lola and the Boy Next Door in paperback, so I really was not amped about getting Isla and the Happily Ever After in a hardback because I kind of want them to match. And seeing as how I hadn't read this book, I wasn't too upset that I didn't get it instantly when it came out. Now, those are all the physical books that I plan to read this month. The next books will be on my trusty little nook. Um, yay! But the first book, which I have already started, is going to be Cress. And I'm going to go back to the main Page so you can see what the cover looks like but I've already started so this is what I shall be reading Chris and you can see all of her hair and this will be the last book of the Lunar Chronicles that's out right now the next book won't come out to 2015 but it is by Stephanie Myers and I adore that entire flipping series and then the last book uh, if you follow me on Goodreads you already know this but I, for some reason, have been struggling getting through this book, and I have no idea why. But it is Insurgent by Veronica Robb. I love Divergent. I devoured it, like, in no time. And as soon as I devoured it, I grabbed Insurgent. But then I hear, oh, they're making it into a movie. And like I stated before, sometimes I don't like to read books so far before the movie comes out. So I put this and Allegiant on the back burner, didn't read them, kind of forgot about it. Okay, so Divergent comes out on DVD, and I'm like, okay, now would be a good time for me to read Insurgent. Y'all, when I tell you I have been reading this book probably since flipping July, like, let's see, I'm going to check Goodreads really quick and see what it says. But for some reason, and it's not that it's a boring book, it's not that it's a bad book, I can't find anything wrong with the book and I can't actually give y'all a reason as to why it's taking me so long to read it. 
So I have taken a break from the book. Stepped away and was like, okay. So this month I am planning to delve back in to reading Insurgent. And it looks like, let's see, go to my updates. And we shall see how long I have been reading this darned book. Getting updates. Okay. Update your reading progress. Oh, and it won't show me. Darn. Why isn't it showing me when I started reading it? Hmm. Let's see. I'm sorry. This is like ridiculous. I thought it would show me when I added it to my... Ah, okay. So... I started reading this book on August the 16th. Yeah. I felt like it was July, but apparently it was August the 16th. But the point is, August the 16th, it's not that big of a book. Why haven't I finished it? So I'm definitely going to finish this book this month because I cannot go into October with a book that I've been trying to read for over a month. Like, this is just ridiculous. Especially a book that I can't find anything wrong with. I can't say I don't like the characters. I can't say I don't like the plot. I can't say that there's not enough action. Who knows? But anyway, those are the books that I'm definitely going to read this month. Um, when I do my September wrap-up, there may be some books that are added in that I just felt like reading. But these will definitely get read this month. Now, guys, if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and comment down below what books you're planning to read this month. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy reading, guys. Bye.